What's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to survive your first night on Minecraft. And it looks like we kind of got a bad world. Well, let me rephrase that. We got a too easy of a world. Because obviously you could just come over here and take one of the NPC's houses. And by the way, NPC means non-player non character. These guys, if you even if you attack them, they're never going to attack you back. So letting you know that they already have gardens and everything else out here so taking their village is not very difficult hello and if you're not so ha lucky as to happen to spawn in an NPC village like I did in the last video which that was really awkward just to survive your first night first of all you would like you should probably mark your spawn I happen to have spawned on a tree. This is going to be hard to mark. Seeing as it's going to be right here over the sky. You never really want to dig straight down in Minecraft, if not in the one that you're, not in the block that you're standing on. But it's always a good idea to mark your spawn. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do that right quick. And to do that, we're going to collect these bricks or dirts. We're going to pile them over here. And we're just going to make this little stack. Right? So, like, let's say if I were to die, like, right now, I'd spawn right on top of that shit, right there. I would show you an example, but that's too much. If you happen to see these sheep, ri sheep lying around, then go ahead and kill it. Uh, you know what? We'll get back to the sheep. We got first thing you would like to do is get some wood. Get about at least four or five, maybe even six pieces of wood. Start off. Really, all you need is about I would say about three pieces to start off with at the second. Take these three pieces, put them in your crafting table. That's in your inventory. Take out twelve of these back in here make yourself a full square to make this thing called a crafting table put the crafting table in your inventory select it and press the right click right click again now you have this bigger crafting space what you want to do is make some sticks all right uh, we need one more box okay anyways you want to make sure you have at least three wooden oaks left and the rest of them make into sticks. Right? Ah, I can make one more. Wait, no I can't, because then I'm only going to have two. Okay. <laughs> then you want to go ahead and line up your sticks. Oh, shit. Come on. So that you can make this like little axe-like thing. You get this handle, and then you have an axe. <laughs> Put your sticks back, and... Uh, Go ahead and destroy this if you want to move it with you. And now you can now you can now destroy trees a lot faster. Yeah. By the way, this is version 1.3 that I am playing at the moment. And we are going to collect around, let's say, about six, seven, maybe ten pieces of wood. Yeah, ten pieces sounds good for right now. That way we could just focus on surviving. Oh, what the hell? All right, so that's that's ten pieces of wood. Now what you want to do is find yourself a good place to go. Where did where was my spawn point? <laughs> Thought I marked that shit off. Where was it? Nine. Yeah. So the west is that way, uh, and the east is that way. West, east. We are going to travel east from our spawn. And uh, let's go ahead and kill us some deer on the way. As long as you have full bars at the bottom, bottom right hand side of your icon, you can regenerate health. Okay. So we are going to make a couple more wooden planks. 
And we're gonna take these sticks, make a handle. No, I'm sorry. Take one stick, then make two of these going up. Therefore, we get a sword. So, and then I'm gonna take back my mining craft, my crafting thing. What we wanna do is if you happen to run into some sheep, go ahead and kill it and take its wool. Try to get at least three wool before the end of your first night. Only takes two swings to knock these bad boys out on easy mode. If you're playing on anything higher than that, you shouldn't be playing the game in the first place. Alright, so that's three wool. Go ahead and knock this one out since he's right next to me. The XP bar we'll talk about in another tutorial. And we are now going to travel this way. I think that's the right way. Whatever. I don't care. We just need to find a place close and try to make it as close as possible to your spawn. That'll help out a lot. Like for example, right here, there's a cave area right about here, and we want to make sure. But by the end of the day, we have some coal. It's either that, or we have at least enough to make a furnace. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our crafting block back down, and we're gonna take some more wood in here. We're gonna make let's say about 20 of these wooden planks leave at least two oak wood just in case you need to make some charcoal make yourself four candles and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these sticks and you are gonna make a pickaxe looks like this alright I'm gonna leave that there oh I'm also you're also gonna wanna make a shovel Alright, so now we want to go ahead and mine out this area because this area looks like it's pretty good to hold up for the night. The sun is starting to set. We want to make sure that we don't get caught out with the baddies at night. So we are going to mine this out a little bit. Take the iron, I mean, take the pickaxe and get some of this cobblestone. Need to at least get eight pieces of this cobblestone. So, and that's what it's called by the way so no it doesn't look like it come back over here you can make yourself a little furnace now you can place it down anywhere we want place it down right there top of some dirt now we're gonna mine out some more in hopes that we find some charcoal or not some charcoal but some coal so the cheap way to do this is come up in here, take one wood, put some wood up there, and drop, by right clicking on your mouse, you can drop only one wood plank in there to burn up as much wood as you can. When you get one charcoal, take that charcoal and put it back in. While this is happening, we have plenty of more trees around us, so we can go get some more. Alright, good. Now since you have all that wood, it would be a good idea to just go ahead and chop down some of this up a couple now. days ago. Oh, there goes my sword. Oh, it's getting dark. Okay. Starting to get somewhat dark now. I forgot where I put down my furnace, but we should have some charcoal. Take out that charcoal, put a stick up in there. Take some charcoal, put it right there, and there you go. You got you got some torches. Same way it works with coal, and bam. All right, now we got some light. As long as there's, what the hell? As long as there's light, nothing can penetrate your for your fortress. Well, I mean they can penetrate your fortress. It's just that they're not going to be able to come up in here and spawn on you. There you go. That That's the word I was looking for. Uh, and in the meantime, you can put down your workbench. I don't, exp I don't predict that there's going to be any enemies in here. No hostile forces. And make yourself a good door. 
Just like that. On the same note, I would like to make me another shovel. Oops, I forgot to collect the shovel. What I'm, a, I'm such a dumbass. Okay. And we'll replace the saplings with the shovel. Please don't be any baddies. Alright. Right click on the door to open it. Right click to close. Shame. Same shit, different day. Stephen King. Alright, and at night time it's a pretty good time to keep on exploring your home. Widening it. You can widen it out so that you don't take suffocation damage. I'm not very sure how the suffocation damage comes out. Run into any... Okay, so the, the green grass right there means that this is the topsoil. It's a good idea not to dig that one up. Alright, a little bit more roomy now. All right, take this crafting bench. If you don't want to stay throughout the night, if you did collect your, four, four, your three furs, or your wolves, or your sheep, basically, you can make this bed, put this bed in your inventory. You could do this at any time. Make sure that you have a good two place spot to sleep. Right click that bed and uh, sleep on the floor like I did. Okay. And once you, once you go to sleep, you, you, and first of all you can only sleep at night. Once you go to sleep, you'll wake up in the morning and you have survived your first night. Either way, it takes about five to ten minutes. I think it takes about ten minutes for each to like, for one cycle to reset and everything. It's it's kind of weird, to be honest. And that's how you survive your first night. Anyways, peace out. End of the video. Talk to all of you later.